Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So what does that mean there? So what does it mean to sow? When you are sowing, not with the needle and thread, <laughs> but usually when the Bible speaks about sowing, you are doing something. Now, when some people hear about sowing, what they think about is money or something like that. And sowing can mean giving money to people and stuff like that, but money is not the only thing. When you are sowing, you can be teaching people about God. You can be giving money. You can be helping people, giving people your time, so on and so on. So when you are sowing, you are doing something, whether it is good or bad. But to place things in context, let's speak about the good things. So, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall also reap sparingly. So we know that sowing is we are doing something. Either we are giving money, helping people, doing something for others, or yes, pretty much for others. So he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So what is reap? So sowing is doing something. Reaping is receiving what you have done. So if sowing mean doing something, reaping means you are receiving the fruits of your labor. So let's say that in the summer, I build a house. And let's say that I am building a house so that I can rent it out to some people. So since I am sewing or building a house, I am going to reap the profits of building that house because I am going to rent that house out for, or yes, I am going to rent that house out. So when you sowing, you are doing something. When you reap, you are receiving the profits or I don't know what good word to use. You are receiving, let's say the profits or the goodwill of what you have been doing. So if I am helping people and stuff like that, every day I am helping people. And let's say that this person on the sideline sees me helping people and say, well, Kevin really has been helping people. So let me give him a gift. Let me buy him a new car. So I can say that I was sewing by helping people and by doing that, I reaped a new car. I pray that makes sense. So he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So what this is saying, the little I do, let's say that I am doing little for people. From what this is saying, since I am doing little for people, I am going to receive little from people as well or from any other source so he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly 
So the little that I do, I am going to receive little back from it. Hey, Kevin, I am looking for great blessings from God. What do I have to do? Sow seeds. Do things for people. Minister to people. Teach people about God. The more you do, the better it is going to be for you. The more you help people, the better the blessing God is going to give to you. Let me continue. And he which soweth bountifully so much shall reap also bountifully. So the more you are doing for a person, for yourself, whatever else, the more you are going to get back, the more that you are going to reap. So if you are really looking to be blessed by God, and this is not only speaking about money. I know when you go to church, you know, hey, sow a seed, sow a seed, you know. This is not only speaking about money. This is speaking about all things. Because in some cases, your time is much more better than money, by far. I know for myself, when I would help people, my time, giving people my time was worth more than money. Makes sense, right? So the more that you do for people, as in praying for them, reading the Bible with them, praying with them, um, doing things for them, spending time with them, encouraging them, so on and so on, the more that you are going to get back. Well, Kevin, I am just doing it because I love God. Whether you are looking for something back or not, whether you are looking for something back or not, you are going to receive it. Even if you say that you love God and you don't want anything back, you are going to get something back because this is a spiritual law. Whatever you do, it has to come back to you, even if you don't want anything back. Kevin, I am just doing it because I love God. Does not matter. <laughs> you are going to receive something back. The more you do, the more you get back. And you may say, well, what am I going to get back? It really depends. I can't say, well, if you give this person $1,000, $2,000 is going to come back to you. I can't say that. Or I can't say that if you give this person 1,000 hours of your time, God is going to give you a brand new car. How can I say that? It all depends on God. Like there's no criteria of like, hey, if you do this, exactly this is going to come back for you. Now, it would be interesting to see something like that, but <laughs> I don't think it works that way, though. <laughs> but from what this is saying, if you do little for people, you are going to receive little back. If you do much for people, much is going to come back. And like I said, this is not only speaking about money, but in all things. So if church is only telling you if you sow seeds of money, that God is going to bless you, they are just telling you one part of the whole picture, which is whatever but <laughs> that is only one part so i pray that this makes sense god bless